Let's find out what the next question is going to be. I'm not mixing these as well as I did in part one, I do apologize. Alright, next question is going to be... Miss Pie Pie asked, What's your favourite colour and are you married? Let's find out. Okay, so I thought we would do an adventure for the next couple of questions. So, let's see. What's your favourite colour and are you married? Well, I'm not one of those people who have favourite things, so... You, as you've probably seen from my channel, I'm like one of those people who like, I don't know, colourful things, lots of bright, happy colours, so. Yeah, I don't really have a favourite colour, but I like lots of colours, so. And are you married? No, I'm not married, and, well, I haven't even been out with anyone, so. I guess I'm just waiting for the right person to come. That was a really short answer, wasn't it? You know, I'm gonna continue this venture on the next question, I think. We're gonna, we're gonna talk to Buster the Ninja Bunny. Yeah, that's what we can do. Let's move on to the next question. Let's see what the next question is. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, like, you know, like, somewhere down here, there's usually, like, that, um, watermark thing? I finally figured out how to get rid of it. I know, it took me nearly a year, but I did it. Anyway, let's see what the next question is. It's going to be. I can't even see that. Okay, right, okay, I got it right. It Kimberly asked, What's your favourite type of flower? Let's find out. Okay, right, moving on. What's your favourite type of flower? That's actually a tough question. As I said with the colours, like, I'm not one of those people who have, like, favourite things, and there are lots of lovely flowers out there, so... I suppose flowers, they kind of, I don't know, they're kind of like people, I suppose, like... There's so many different flowers out there, and they're all beautiful and special in their own way, just like people, you know? Why? No. This is going crazy. Right, anyway. That was another short answer, wasn't it? So, we're just going to put this in, see what happens. Ooh, we got some fresh water. Okay, we haven't got fresh water yet. Forget, forget what I just said. I haven't done this adventure in a long time. You get water when it's the end. Ah, let's kill this guy, and then we're gonna move on. Yo. Yeah, you. That's fine. Okay. We'll catch that guy in the next answer. See you in a minute. Time for question four. That's quite long too. Mum Inspire Kids asked, Why did you start a YouTube channel? And if you were to have any animal you want, what would it be and why? Let's find out. Okay, um, why did you start a YouTube channel and if you were to have any animal you want, what would it be and why? Well, I've kind of mentioned this before in one of my Animal Crossing videos. I can't remember which one, I'm sorry. but. Um, me and my sisters, we used to share a channel. Actually, we had a couple of channels. Um, I can remember CK Asgrivens. I can remember Mick Spoon. Um, and last year it was, I remember it was last year, um, they decided that we should, like, have our own channels instead of sharing ones. You know, like, we could do what we wanted and all that. And... I remember thinking, like, what am I supposed to do? Because I had literally no idea what to do. 
And then I come to think that, well, if I'm going to make this channel, I want to make it to make people happy. Because I like making people happy. And it's a good feeling when you make someone happy. And, yeah, so I remember it was July 2016. Um, I don't know what happened there. Let me just hang on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. The game froze or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I started, like, planning, like, video ideas and what I was going to do and all that. And I say I want to make people happy because the main reason is, like, I know a lot of people go through different things in their life. Like, I've been through quite a lot since I've been at the school I'm at, which I'm going to be so happy to leave. I mean, when I first started the school I was at, I got bullied. Um, people, I can still remember some of the things people said that I stayed in my head, which is horrible, but, um, like, I remember getting depression as well, and people used to, like, walk past and say, she never smiles, she never looks happy, she never talks, she's so small, and, like, little things like that that stayed in my head, it's been horrible, and I remember this one person, I don't, I don't know who it is, was now, but I remember them saying, like, I was fat and I smiled and all that, and that really went in my head. So, for a little bit, I did try starving myself, because... I don't know. I, I know it's stupid, and I, you should never do that, because everyone's body is beautiful just the way it is. But yeah, um, I only did it for like, I don't know, a month or so, and I really struggled. Because where I do my dancing, I became too weak to be able to dance properly, and I was like getting sent home from school because I just had no energy, and I was really weak. And it came to the point where, like, I was getting hungry that I would just secretly eat in my room and and I was like finding out that some people like die because of starving themselves or like they can't have kids when they're older because they've damaged their body and all that and I thought what am I doing to myself? So I got up from that then I've suffered with stress a lot. I did something to my body this year, which I'm hoping I'll never do again, because of someone. But yeah, my point is, I know there's people out there that have suffered, like, worse things than I have, but I remember coming home from school for a very long time. i just come home and cry. And I remember watching my favourite TV shows that used to cheer me up. And, you know, if I can just make one person smile, or one person laugh, you know... I'll be happy, and that's why I always say a positive attitude changes everything, because, you know, if you think, like, oh, I'm not good at that, you're not gonna be, but if you think, I'm just gonna try my best, and I might do well, you know, it changes everything, just how you think. And if you were to have any animal, what would it be, and why? Well, I love my cats, so obviously, like, any kind of cat, I just love cats, but if I was to have a dog... I would have a dash hound because I've always wanted a dash hound because they're kind of like my favourite dog. I don't know why, but yeah. So let's move on to the next question. Okay, two questions left. Let's find out what question number five is going to be. Mum Inspire asks, what keeps you motivated? Let's find out. Okay, what keeps you motivated? Now this is actually an easier question for me to answer. It's easy, it's you guys. Like, all the lovely comments I've got of people, like, you know, that makes me feel good. So, you know, in my past, not having people not say nice stuff. Not again. See what I mean for Animal Jam? There's always something that goes wrong. I'll be right back. Okay, right, I'm back. Um... Just a heads up, I am really bad at all of these games, and it's really hard for me today, because I haven't played them for ages, and um, I'm trying to talk and concentrate at the same time, which I'm not used to. But anyway, yeah, um, it's you guys having all the lovely comments that you've said about my videos. It's just, it's really nice, you know, and I do try and do the same back and put a nice comment on someone else's video, because... 
now I have a channel, I know how hard people work on making videos. Like, I never really used to, but oh, I'm dead. Um, so yes, always the lovely comments I get off you guys. And another thing is, I, why do I keep going back to diversity? I don't know. But, um, when I saw them butt things, I got like, you know those band things you get to go around your wrist? I got one of them that says diversity on there. And I've worn it every day since I saw them. Because, like, every time I look at it, it reminds me, like, my dream came true and I shouldn't, like, give up and, you know, stuff like that. So, whatever your dream is, don't give up and don't let anyone tell you it won't happen. Because, trust me, my family knows for ages that I wanted to see diversity. And, like, I have had, like, some people saying, no, don't worry if you don't see him, you can always see him again. It's like, I was like, no, I am going to see them. And I did. So yeah, never give up on your dreams. Let's move on to the next question. I think I'm going to do like an adventure for this one. So, yeah. The final question is... OMG Becca G asked, What is something about you that we wouldn't know and we wouldn't think to ask? Let's find out. Okay, right, we are back. And I'm just going to catch this guy. He's ignoring me. Thank you. Oh no, oh no, 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 I don't want to die. Right, anyway, this next one. What is something about you that we wouldn't know and wouldn't think to ask? Now this one, for me, has got to be one of the hardest questions. Because in this Q&A, I've wanted to say something that my sisters, Kimberly and Lisa, don't know about me. So they can be like you guys, like, oh, we didn't know that sort of thing. But I might have already said something they didn't know. I don't know. But... Okay, I'm a sleepy bunny. Anyway, um, I'm gonna say this, which I don't think they know this, but if they do, then I don't know. I'll be annoyed at myself. But, um, this, I guess this is kind of like a story, so I'm gonna just stop babbling and actually start the story. So, um, when I left primary school, I went to this school, and it was like, I don't know, a really big school, and I didn't get on there, and I got bullied at that school as well. I don't have much luck at school, do I? But, um, yeah, and my mum knew I wasn't happy there, so, um, she took me out of school, and I don't know how she came across this, but, um, she found out about this thing, about being homeschooled. And, um, you know, she asked if I wanted to be homeschooled, and I said, okay. So, I was homeschooled for, I don't know, if it was two, three years of my life. Look, everyone, we haven't got any more questions left today. So, um, thank you, everyone, for joining me for my first q and I do apologise if this video has been long. I know some people like longer videos, I know some people don't, and I don't know, you don't have to watch this all in one go, do you? You can always come back to it and watch later, whatever you call it. But yeah, thanks for joining me for this first Q&A. Thank you to everyone who has asked me a question. I do apologise if I've said anyone's channel name wrong, I do apologise. But if you're sat there and just thinking, oh, I should have asked that question. Grab your pen, grab some paper, or grab whatever you want to... If you've thought of a question and you don't want to forget it, well, make sure you remember it, because... Sometime in November, I can't remember where it is, and I ain't got my book with me, so I apologise. I'm going to be doing my first ever live stream with my sisters, it's Kimberly and it's Lisa. And if you have any questions for us, you can just ask us then, so you don't have to wait until the next Q&A. Isn't that great? So yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon. Peace!